What is going on my homies? I got a bait shop walkthrough for you and it's gonna be epic. There's a lot of great tackle shops in Okeechobee, the city proper on Lake Okeechobee. Okeechobee Fishing Headquarters, Fast Break, Gerard's. And this is the newest addition, Lake and Trail USA. And little side note, it's an American Bait Works Superstore. It means I got a bunch of Halo net bait stuff along with a ton of other stuff. So we're gonna go do a little bait shop walkthrough. So first impressions, this place is absolutely gigantic, dude. Fishing rods everywhere, soft plastics everywhere, they got hard baits, but here's the coolest part. So it's a three prong store. You can actually get gas over here. There's Sunoco station, which is attached. And then you have the bait shop and then over there. So it's actually closed, but we're going to get a sneak peek because we know people. There is the boat dealership. So you could literally buy a boat, gas it up, put bait in it and go straight to like Okeechobee, which is like five minutes across the road, dude. Even a little sneaky map. I'll tell you right now, this map is not right. <laughs> I'm getting kind of lost. So, I, you know, they have it actually sectioned up pretty intuitively. You got all your soft plastics over there organized by brand. We have all our line right here. And actually I'll tell you what too, the pricing on at least gas, I don't know about baits yet, but the gas prices were cheaper than what was actually in Okeechobee. So I'm assuming they try to keep the prices halfway low. You got a bunch of hooks. What's kind of neat about this store too, one of the, the quote unquote deficits that you find with a lot of Florida fishing stores is they're super Florida oriented, which is good because they're in Florida, right? But you get up to like Alabama, Georgia, and there's a lot more diversity of products. You know, sometimes it's all soft plastics or, you know, all big hooks and big weights because Florida's heavy cover, heavy grass. But I'm noticing right off the bat, because Robert, who you're gonna meet in a minute, he's actually from Canada, dude, originally. So he like, he fishes smallmouth, he fishes super clear water, he fishes a lot of different things. So even though there's baits that, that really apply to Okeechobee, like there's a Fritz side nine. You know, the, there's baits that are sort of maybe on the fringe or things that you could use maybe on some of those deeper clear water lakes, epic jerk baits. Like there's a lot of diversity in product in comparison to what you normally find in your in your standard Florida tackle shop. Ooh, naughtiness, dude. So if you are an Okeechobee and you don't have one of these, you're doing it wrong. Big spooks, absolutely killer. Benefits of the gas station. Tasty cake, bro. Good morning. <laughs> Grab a little snack. Grab a little snack stick and get after it. This is Robert. I got the wrong hand here. Hey, right, right, Robert. How you doing? Know, but so Robert, this is kind of a cool deal. So you have this is a bait shop, uh, yep. a marina. Yep. And it's sort of like the retail outlet for American Bait Works, right? Yep. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, what we have here is a one-stop fishing and boating uh, stop. So um, in here, as you're looking around. Uh, one side of the store in here we've got uh, all kinds of fishing tackle and baits um, on the other side we have some, uh, we have a gas station out front and we have uh, some convenience over here on the side um, and really what we're trying to do uh, at, at Lake and Trail is to have a one-stop shop for people so if you want to go fishing you can come in and buy your tackle we sell shiners and uh, other sorts of live bait um, we have the gas station so we can gas you up we can get all your fishing needs um, help for um, and you can buy sandwiches and snacks for a day of fishing and then to boot if you don't have a boat we have a dealership over on the other side a full service dealership that we have uh, bass boats mud boats and pontoon boats and we have a three bay service center um, for all your mercury and Yamaha needs and across the street uh, when when we uh, get to turn that way uh, we have some uh, dry storage units so we have uh, a storage unit complex that has both air conditioned and un-air-conditioned uncondi units and they range in size from 5x5 five five all the way up to 15x35s. And you get pros like this guy running through, Caleb Summer. Hey, what's your Instagram? What, what's your Instagram, homie? Caleb Summerall Fishing. Caleb Summerall dot fishing. 
All right, so go check him out. So you run into, not only do they have a whole bunch of stuff to do just about whatever you want, you run into some cool people too, see a bunch of rap boats and, and get to hang out with some cool people. So Robert, you know, the other thing that we were talking about that's kind of interesting is obviously you own American Bait Works, yep. Bait Fuel, so yep. that's that's net bait, scum yep. frog, snag proof, yep. hay. Tell me a little bit about how, like that's kind of a part of this, but separate and how that works. Well, a, a number of years ago, we came up with the idea that we wanted to have sort of a, a place right here in Okeechobee that would be a retail outlet um, and be able to just, you know, offer some different sort of uh, uh, fishing uh, options for people uh, in what's known as the greatest, you know, bass fishing lake uh, in North America. Um, along with that, when we were, when we were starting to look at, at, at developing this property, um, uh, we started to invest in some fishing, uh, some existing fishing companies. So very quickly back in 2018, American Baitworks was formed and uh, we purchased uh, six brands. So, so uh, Halo Fishing, uh, Snag Proof, Scum Frog, Net Bait, Set the Hook and Freedom Tackle. So those were six brands that sort of became under the uh, American Baitworks umbrella. We built the 40,000 square foot facility in Biloxi, Mississippi um, to start manufacturing a lot of baits, uh, plastic baits and uh, our scum frogs. Uh, very quickly we won a big contract at um, Walmart to supply their, um, um, their house brand uh, private label uh, baits. So you can, even though it doesn't say American Baitworks on it, when you buy the Ozark Trail baits, those are made in our plant uh, in Mississippi. And we're in the process now where we're uh, starting to uh, uh, expand um, in the factory and pour baits for other companies. So uh, I'm very excited. In the, in the last week, we were able to uh, uh, pour our first baits for Guggen Baits. Um, so they're, they're transitioning um, their production from overseas to America, and they've chosen us as their supplier. So uh, the factory in Mississippi, which is a really a focal point of what we're trying to do at American Bait Works, it's starting to get very busy. Robert, one thing that's came out is this stuff right here, man. And there has been so much chatter about it. Can you tell me about the development and like what's behind it? Yes, uh, so before I ever got into the industry, I developed a relationship with a professor at Queen's University in Canada. Um, and uh, through you know some of my other uh, things that I've been fortunate in life with, um, I helped fund a research lab uh, at Queen's University. And about five or six years after I did that, when I got into the fishing business, um, I started to think about, you know, uh, I really needed something, a unique selling proposition for, for one of my products that would really be able to lift uh, all the American Baitworks brands. And when I look closely at the plastics market and having built the factory uh, in Mississippi, ostensibly to be able to pour plastic baits for both American Baitworks and our third party customers, um, I needed to, we needed to find something else, uh, something to set us apart. Um, and basically there was only one company out there that had science behind their baits and they're a very big company and, and uh, very successful. And what we, what we tried to do is we tried to find an alternative uh, uh, scent uh, to attract fish that would be able to set our products apart from everybody else's. Uh, and that's what we did. So it was probably close to three years between when we first started research and we were able to mass produce our first bottles of bait fuel. Um, and you know, that's where we're at. They were, they were released uh, for sale last March. Um, and uh, just, you know, with, within, you know, a couple months, um, the demand for the bait fuel was just off the charts. Um, and it's really helped to lift uh, the whole American Bait Works portfolio. We're just in the process now where we're ten transitioning all our net bait product and set the hook product to having bait fuel infused in it. So basically what we have is we have two types of products. We have the bait fuel gel, which you can put on any plastic bait um, and it'll work. And then we also have from our own brands, net bait, we now have baits that have it infused in it. Um, so that you don't have to put any gel on it. And we're super duper excited. And then the next sort of thing that we're coming up with, we've now developed a saltwater version of bait fuel. So um, if, you, if you look at our, our website, baitfuel.com, you'll see all the uh, scientific uh, experiments, uh, like edited, um, about how it was that we were able to uh, determine uh, what ingredients uh, would work best uh, in a scent. Um, so we now have, uh, so the, 
the first ones we did uh, involved smallmouth bass. We've now got a bunch of redfish in saltwater up at our labs at Queen's University, and we have concocted a ver uh, an all new saltwater version of bait fuel, which will be hitting the market in the next few months, and we're super duper excited about that. I get all jittery when I start seeing new boats everywhere. I get kind of excited, but then I look at the price tags, I'm not super <laughs> jacked. Oh, you're a blazer dealer? Yep. Really? That's that's so Florida of you, man. Yep. Yeah, see, we broke through the fence. It's, uh, <laughs> so tell me about what you got here, which brands you're carrying, and what you all offer. Yeah, so uh, so this is the dealership side of, of, uh, of, of the building. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, provide uh, new products uh, in in the you know in the sport fishing uh, leisure categories. So uh, we basically we've got a bunch of, of uh, different brands of bass boats. Um, we have uh, blazer boats. We have falcon boats. We have bass cat boats. Um, That's your favorite, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, you I, have a bass yeah, cat, yeah, yeah. But I'm. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you so anyway, yeah, they're well, but but all the boats are are well built, and each one of them. Um, have their own niche market and people that they uh, that they uh, that they're that they're targeting, um, and then we have a, a super duper um, line of more affordable boats, um, the Excel line, uh, in both uh, uh, bay boats and uh, runabout boats, and uh, we have a whole bunch of mud boats that have traditional outboard motors as well as uh, the mud motors, which are really cool. Check this out, bait fuel. But this is actually Robert's boat which he wants to get wet, and I'm stopping him from getting out there because we're shooting this shovel. Nice, right in the cup holder. Oh yeah, ready to go. Silent seller for the bait oh. fuel. Dude, that's, that's a sweet wrap. Ooh, I like the black on the back too. That's, actually, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. And the gentleman that does the, uh, it's JH Design out of Port St. Lucie. Yeah, he's, John. Uh, yeah, you John's, uh, he's very creative and does a great job. In fact, he was, uh, we had a little promotion yesterday and and John was here uh, was uh, setting up a booth and stuff. So, oh, that's yeah. cool. John's a good dude. Yep. One of the nice things about here is we have an enclosed uh, three bay um, service area um, with all the latest equipment to uh, help people get their boat serviced and back on the water quickly. That is one of the cleanest service areas I've ever seen. And I know the place is new, so at some point it'll get dirty, but that is clean. Yeah, you know, Robert was also saying too, one of the biggest struggles is like Okeechobee's definitely a vacation hub, you know? I think that's how you came down here originally, yep. right? Yep. You were visiting, yep. kind of snowboarding and that. Yep. So it, blank happens, you know what I'm saying? You're out on the water, something happens to your prop, you know, your, your bilge pump goes out. Robert was telling me they have a huge selection of spare parts. All the stuff where it's like you get on Amazon, it's gonna take you three, four days or like a week to get from like a manufacturer. They have a bunch of parts, a bunch of, you know, fix it yourself kind of deals to get you back out on the water. So if you do run into a problem and you're near Okeechobee or on Okeechobee, come here and they'll get you squared away. Robert, buddy, thank you for walking me through the shop. Thanks, um, I need to part ways with you because I'm going to go shopping. So, <laughs> so maybe I can get a Mikey Balls discount in store. So we're going to wrap this thing up. If you guys got any questions or comments about the store and you've been here, drop them down in the comments box and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. We are out.